three. Eight fights down, just this one remaining. And it is the human wrecking machine, Hector Lombard, our very own world champion, up against this man from the United States of America. Too much for you, Tristan Yunker. Of course, Tristan came in late as a late replacement for Jordan Radev, who couldn't actually make it to the fight. So he's taken the fight on short notice, but I've seen this guy before. He's very spidery, long arms, long legs. He's going to be a tricky one to keep on the ground. And half mad you've got to be to get into the cage with this man. Jungo, they call him. He is Hector Lombard, originally from Cuba. Somehow made his way across to our fine shores and it was quite the trip since he has teamed up with Luke Pizzuti and the boys from the Lions Den Academy. And he is our showpiece. He is our showcase. He is our main eventer. And we are doing it at middleweight in front of a full house here at Luna Park as we look at the tail of the tape and Lombard giving away the best part of 20 centimetres as far as height and reach. So the game plan, Michael, is get in and get in close. That's right. Yanka's got excellent reach, but I don't think he's going to be capitalising on that tonight. He's more of a ground fighter. He's actually known as a spider in some of the MMA circles. So let's see how he goes against Hector Lombard. Very experienced, as the bio suggests, a wrestling expert with a massive height and reach advantage. But capitalising on the height and reach is going to be difficult against a thrashing machine like Hector Lombard. Such a well-rounded fighter. Younger's going to need a lot of heart, though, for this one. Lombard is absolutely unforgiving in the cage. Doesn't care about age, height, strength or experience. He'll take on anyone and is proud to say it. Take on anyone, take them on anywhere, at any time. It's said in the bio of Hector Lombard, explosive, that certainly sums it up. Protect yourselves at all times, touch gloves, go back to your point. Steve Percival, our penguin in the middle. He is in the black and white for our main event, the international super fight from the C4 Mixed Martial Arts Facility in Indiana, in the United States. It is Tristan Yunker who has taken this fight on late notice up against Hector Lombard. Lombard in the short white trunks, a body chiseled from granite. He is explosive. He is unorthodox at times and technically brilliant. It's actually amazing. Yunker just got a judo sweep on a judo champion. Is Hector Lombard in any trouble? Lombard from the bottom. Just a side headlock, if you like, from Tristan Yunker. Yunker will want to keep it on the ground and keep it in this position. It's actually locking up that arm on Lombard really tightly. Doesn't have much to move with Lombard, although now he's moved over to the back. And now it's Yunker who's on the back foot. Lombard almost looking for a rear mount position. Yunker. Covering up and covering up for dear life. You do not want those ham hawks pounding down on your cheekbones. He's doing really well to defend. He's actually keeping a tight turtle position, trying not to let Lombard get too much. Lombard's already got those arms in, so how long is it until he gets those punches through? Nice body positioning from Hector Lombard. You can see that the left arm was trapped and now gets out, so Yunker has got the chance to partially protect himself. A little kick around the front, almost cheeky from Hector Lombard. Gets his leg in really well there. That's exactly what he needed to get better control over this position. Although it seems that Yunker's not too phased about being where he is. Except those punches might change his mind, won't they? Those punches will change your mind. They will change them in a real hurry. Looking for a front choke. But again, that body positioning of Tristan Yunker. 18 fights at just 22 years of age. So very experienced and still has youthful exuberance on his side. Oh, a nice left hand. It snaps through from Hector Lombard. Hector's working very, very well with his strikes. He's not actually working much for position. He's concentrating now, trying to stop this fight. He wants it to end. He wants it to end now. Most using the side fist, a lot of these punches. Quite simply, you don't want to be breaking your hand on someone else's head. That's right, it's happened before in the cage. Halfway through round number one, Yanka showing a ton of guts. 
Got the nickname too much for you. Is he too much for Shungo? Here in front of a very vocal hometown crowd. Now these punches, they are starting to have a cumulative effect. There hasn't been one big knockout shot as yet, but they are having a cumulative effect. How much longer can Yunker last? It's amazing how much control Lombard has over this position. Not letting Yunker do much at all. He just he's just covering up and hoping for the best. I don't think this is the best option for Yunker right now. Three minutes down, some big knees into the ribcage. The towel is in, it is over, and our CFC world champion once again, King of the Cage. Extremely well fought there. Lombard just didn't let Yanka move. Yanka had a good start, which we'll probably see in the replays, but he didn't capitalize on that. He really needed to control, as we'll see here. Goes really for that takedown, actually gets it and lands Lombard against the cage. Jackie stops his rolling motion. Working here for the arm, just needed to hold it. Once he let go, Lombard had clear access to his back and then it was all over. The big knees sealed the deal for the unstoppable Hector Lombard. Ladies and gentlemen, three minutes and 20 seconds into round number one. Our winner, the current Hector Shango Lombard! Hector Lombard, his hand raised in victory. What a performance from the world middleweight champion. Oh, it was excellent. He just dominated the fight, didn't let him move. Although Tristan Yanka didn't have much chance for him, he did really well for that first takedown. Hector did well to control the fight, ended up with the win. At the night didn't go to plan for CFC, both Dylan Andrews and Anthony Perosh defeated. Yeah, they're unlucky, obviously against much, much more experienced opponents. Dylan Andrews, just a bit unlucky. Ebersol is an excellent fighter. Hopefully we see him soon. Anthony Perosh, what can we say? These Frenchmen, they're just really strong, really good defence. They continue to impress here at Sydney's Lunar Park. What a night of mixed martial arts it's been. It's CFC, it is raw, and we look forward to your company next time or inside the cage on CFC.